Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this session, so we are going to discuss about a command line arguments concept in C language. The concept is command line arguments. So, first of all, so what is argument? What is argument? So, we know that technically we can call it as an argument. This is so, we can call it as a input value or input element, input value or input element. Next one, what is command line? Right. So, command line is nothing but CUI, command user interface or we can call it as a character user interface. The best example, DOS operating system, the black screen, we can call it as a command line command prompt simply. Sir, here it is what is the meaning of a command line arguments means generally we can edit nothing but we can write, compile and execute the C programs using blue screen. The blue screen we can call it as a IDE integrated development environment. What is IDE already we discussed in the previous sessions and here it is Right now, the discussion about a DOS operating system. Sir, what is the use of DOS operating system means? Generally, whenever, whenever we install any operating system in your computer, two types of operating systems will be installed. Windows best example, one is a CUI, second one is a GUI. CUI means command user interface or character user interface. GUI is a graphical user interface. So, mostly end users will use this graphical user interface, end users. And who will use character user interface means uh, programmers will use character user interface, programmers. Operating system is of two types. One is a CUI and second one is a GUI. Generally, as a programmer, we always work with a CUI only because it is very easy. The people thinking that, right, we have to learn commands, right, to use the DOS operating system, command user interface, right, like that, the people will think. But it is very easy process to work with a command user interface. How? How much it is easy that I will explain practically, I will show you how to work with the command line arguments and all. Okay? So, this one. Now, the discussion about this CUI. Whether you want to compile the application after writing the program, sir, where I can write the program C program? Right? Suppose, if you are not using any IDE, suppose blue screen, if you are not using blue screen right so first we have to write program using notepad open notepad and write program and next after writing the program anyway we will save that program with a dot c extension only of course right after saving with a dot c extension so what we will do so what we will do means second one we need to open DOS, nothing but open command prompt and locate the compiler. Compiler is a program. Briefly, compiler is a .exe file on Windows operating system. .exe. Sir, one example, Turbo C compiler, TCC .exe compiler. TCC dot exe compiler turbo c compiler with the help of compiler only you have to compile the application any program name see for example your program name is a, a program dot c just consider we should compile compile application nothing but clearly source program then it will generate the file compiled file will be generated that we can run that application run program. This is the process actually. If you are not using any editor, right, like a blue screen and all, 
it is a bit difficult of writing programs, locating the compilers, compiling the application and executing the application. But this is the correct process, nothing but this is the exact process of writing C programs or of developing C applications or a C++ applications, anything. But sir, then what is the use of blue screen, sir? Blue screen? As a basic programmer, you are the learner, you do not know anything about a programming languages, you are new to programming languages. So, first of all, this much complexity no one can explain and of course, we cannot follow. We are thinking that uh, right learning a programming language is much difficult. So, that is why first as a basic programmer, we will start developing applications with the help of IDEs only like blue screens where you can write the program and you can compile the program and you can run the program with the help of shortcuts. We know that shortcuts. After writing this program on a blue screen, if you want to save, shortcut is a functional key F2. Suppose if you want to compile the program, a shortcut they have given that is Alt F9 is a shortcut. If you want to run the program, simply Control F9 we need to press. If you want to open the console to see the output by holding the alt button, you have to press F5. All these are shortcuts, right, given by that IDE blue screen. Sir, then what will happen, sir, whenever you press alt F9 and whenever you press control F9, whenever you press alt F5, this is the background process. But already we are good in a C programming language because so almost command line arguments is the last concept in a C language, right. So, you are a bit perfect in a C programming language, at least now you should understand the correct way of writing, compiling and executing C applications, right. So, that is why we have to follow that DOS operating system, okay. And here it is whenever we are compiling and executing the application, how to pass arguments to the program from the command line is called command line arguments that we will see. So, how to pass the command line arguments see. Suppose here it is the command prompt. In the command prompt if you want to compile one program, program name just consider program dot c only. With the help of compiler tcc dot exe is a compiler name. With the help of compiler then we have to compile this one program dot c, it will compile. After compilation, what will be generated means uh, obj file will be generated or clearly dot exe file will be generated. It generates program dot exe file clearly. Next, here it is in the command prompt. Now, directly we are executing this one program dot exe. Now, how to pass command line arguments sir? followed by this program name after writing program dot exe, here you have to pass the arguments. How many arguments? No limitations. By leaving the space between arguments, argument 1, argument 2, argument 3, argument 4, so like that you can keep on passing. Number of arguments you can pass, how many arguments means no limitation no limitation, passing input values, these are input values, input values means arguments from the command line, this is command line, command prompt, arguments we are passing to program, we are passing to input, input, simply this is what we called command line arguments, from the command line we are passing to the program we are passing to the program we are passing, okay. And who is responsible for collecting all these arguments and how to process all these arguments and what type of data it is and means what, what type of arguments we can pass, right. So, all these things we will see in the next session, okay. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please subscribe to Narayshati channel. Thank you. Thank you.